The Gauteng Human Settlements Urban Planning and Cooperative Governance, MEC Lebachang Maile, joins me now. Good evening. Thank you very much for your time. I understand the situation has now calmed. Could you just give us a very brief update on the situation in Rabi Ridge this evening and also where those people are staying tonight? Good evening. Uh, thanks for having us. Um, uh, as you have reported, uh, we are informed that the situation has calmed down. Uh, I'm sure the people uh, who wanted to invade, because remember, they are not staying there, so they probably have homes um, in and around the area. Uh, and I can also confirm that uh, the land does not belong to neither the municipality nor the provincial government or any of the three spheres. So that is not our land. We, we have, however, been in, in, in discussion with the owners of the land because there are residents in Ivory Park who are living in a escom servitude, which uh, puts their lives in danger and which also constrains development. And we wanted the uh, private owner to partner with us so that we can relocate right. those people let, there. Let me just jump in there very uh, briefly. Sorry, sir. Um, because my understanding is that the owner of the land now, and it was, am I correct, that it was government property for a, quite a long time, and it's, it's passed into private hands now. Is that correct? No, no. What I know uh, for sure is that uh, it was never owned by government and it's not owned by government. Uh, in fact, there's a history to that piece of land. Uh, the city of Johannesburg, before 2016, actually wanted to uh, expropriate that uh, land without compensation. The matter went to court. And post-2016, the uh, municipality decided not to uh, pursue that case and it was thrown out. So. Uh, I can tell you uh, with uh, certainty that uh, it does not uh, uh, belong to government. Okay, yes, and uh, my understanding from a report we carried yesterday is that Rali Mampuele from the South African Housing and Infrastructure Fund, uh, they now basically hold the land. Um, but, but, but one of the things that um, the, the new owner said, and I'm going to quote, and this was yesterday, so it may have changed, but I'd just like your input. Uh, I'm not bad-mouthing anyone, but I have invited several members of government to join us in addressing this community. To my disappointment, I've not seen anyone from government. Um, the instruction I was given is that I'm a private property owner. I must go and defend my own private land. What protection are you offering people who buy land, who own private land, and then it's invaded uh, by people who shouldn't be there? Well, firstly, I don't know who did he invite, uh, because we, we were not invited. The matter was brought to our attention through uh, the media, and we immediately contacted, um, asked our guys uh, to go and uh, um, uh, find uh, facts, which they did. And uh, we live in constitutional democracy. Um, <clears throat> every, uh, you, uh, every person's rights are... Um, protected by the Bill of Rights. So if you are a property owner and people invade your land illegally, uh, the state will protect you. As you have seen, that's what the police were doing, um, protecting that private land which belongs to him. So um, <clears throat> the, is... the state will always uh, protect uh, everyone. Sure. I'm just reading from uh, your statement that you issued a little earlier. You speak about a serious challenge of a housing backlog in the province and you've got this rapid land response program um, from what we saw a little earlier uh, and and I'm sure you will fill me in if, if this is incorrect but it looks like it's a it's a strong arm approach to people who see vacant land and let's be fair that land has been vacant for a very long time and decide we've had enough we actually want to take over this land is it a strong arm approach from government or is there more to it than that Look, there is a lot of land that is uh, vacant, but it doesn't mean it's habitable and uh, it doesn't mean that people can immediately um, settle there. And that's why there's town planning processes. Some of the land does not have bulk um, and as a result, uh, it can become unhygienic and not safe for people to stay there and all that. So that's why 
the allocation of people must be done uh, properly uh, by, municipal, by, by municipalities and uh, provincial government in a coordinated way. That's what um, sure. we want to I'm see happen. For a because response legally, to, the, to the seeming strong arm tactics that we've seen. Is that, is that going to be the norm? Is it going to be a strong arm response uh, as the norm going forward? Look, uh, the law in, in, uh, enforcement agencies will um, uh, um, do, 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 do their work. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not in the law enforcement agencies. Uh, but what I know is that we, we don't condone violence, um, neither by the police nor by um, uh, our citizens. Um, and that's why it's important that we, have, uh, we must have a coordinated approach and, because we understand the impatience of our people. There is a serious land hunger, but there's also a huge uh, uh, a backlog of human settlement. In every year in Gauteng, there's about 300,000 people who come, and uh, <clears throat> when they get into the province, they need uh, access to housing, access to schools, sure. access to health facilities, etc., etc. So that's why there's always a backlog, and the resources are limited. But we're doing our level best uh, as government, and we ask our people to work with us uh, because if it's done in a coordinated way, um, mm -hmm. we will be able to uh, target the right people. But sometimes, yeah. uh, when it's done illegally, uh, it's actually coordinated by cartels who end up uh, owning more stands and renting out to uh, our right. uh, vulnerable so, and so, desperate so, so, people. So I, but I if it's you. done properly, we will be able to right. so you're calling, um, you're calling ensure for that patience. the rightful... And, and uh, what I'm hearing you saying uh, is that while there is a, a legitimate... Sorry, what I'm, I'm just summing up what you're saying is that there's a legitimate frustration about the backlog, but you're also suggesting that there are people taking advantage of that situation and just trying to acquire more land. And I, I just want to say thank you for your time. We are uh, tight thank on you. time, but, but I think uh, I've summed up what you were saying. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. And that, of course, was uh, MEC Lebohang Mayile. He is the Housing, Urban Planning and Cooperative Governance MEC here in Gauteng.